All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Regional Championship Wrestling's DVD Extra. We are taking you to some great Matt Classic videos. Matches that Regional Championship Wrestling had but never released on DVD. And this is one of those big ones. This was from Rumble Mania Extreme 2. And it was in Ocoee, Florida, 2004. I'm joined by Chio. And Chio, you remember this very well because that was the one time that you did show up to a Florida event for Regional Championship Wrestling. Unfortunately for me, for that long drive down to Florida, I actually got injured before the show because uh, the ring technicians did not set everything else up right. In the beginning, and I actually injured my ankle. So my partner at the time had to go into a, uh, how you say, a triple threat match. And the winner of that match decides who has uh, becomes their partner. Well, he actually wins the title for him and their partner. That's in, right. In the Florida Tag Team Titles. It, it's funny. I got to win the Florida Tag Team Titles without even competing. That's great. There you go. Who else can say they did that? Now, speaking of titles, this match here is myself when back in the day, the bodacious pretty boy, going against the Angel of Darkness. Now, you saw that I came to the ring with a title. That was the United States Championship that was held by the Flamingo Kid Pinky, who decided not to show up to the show. So, they decided, hey, if, if I was managing him at the time, I would have to defend the title in his place. So this was the beginning of the feud between yours truly and the Angel of Darkness. Angel of Darkness looking Jack. The size difference there was was mesmerizing with him being as big as he is. But, you know, you're almost similar in height, though. Similar in height. And back then, I could still do the moves that I can't do today. That's right. The age does catch up to all of us all at one time or another in our lifetime. But right now, you seem to be doing pretty good here as you're going to town on this nice, hefty-sized competitor. Yeah, this was 2004. We were making a name for ourselves in Florida now. Big back body oh, drop. Oh, and yes. a super kick. Yes, indeed. He's coming off the ropes. Oh, leg drop by Angel of Darkness. Now, Angel of Darkness, of course, is a martial arts expert. Trained by Johnny Rods, WWE Hall of Famer. People got to remember, the quality of this video is so outdated. It's because uh, back then they were using VHSs. Not, not the digital stuff that we have today. But we do have the advantage that we could bring back these memories and put them on digital for use. But the quality is not all there. Yeah, we're not going to be able to fix the quality, but it is a quality match. So that's why we wanted to bring this to you. Never been released on DVD. And here you see these two are sizing each other up and bang. Look at that right there. Smarts. You're trying to muscle him down. Oh, Slips behind with a waist lock of his own. Wait, you're, you're making his way to the smart man. Oh, Ooh. low blow to the... To the bread and referee there. didn't even notice no, anything. No, not so, not whatsoever. The referee seems to be blind. What's up with the RCW officials? I mean, like they always don't seem to catch a lot of things. Oh, uh, Smiling Mel's a good referee, but um, you know it's just how it is. He's on the rope, so he should be breaking it. Angel of Darkness slips out. Bodacious, pretty boy. Yeah, at the time in your career, you were really on fire. At the time. And then as time went on, you know, like I said, the age does catch up to us, and the younger, faster town does come out of the woodworks from all these fancy new schools showing out all these uh, tricks. And uh, and I guess it was time just to start hanging it up or stepping to the side, letting the new talent step in. That's right. I don't want to be like the other dinosaurs that don't step down for the new younger talent because RCW looks to the future and not the past. Well, you seem to be staggering around. It's like, oh, you got a chair there. Well, a chair that I'm not using. Cut. Has you reverse it and send you into the chair. I think you hit it upside down from what I see. Well, we know for one thing, Angel of Darkness and myself always put on great matches. And um, it's showing you right there. Now, he's choking me with the chair, so he's obviously going to fight fire with fire. 
Who knows? You never know what you might see here in RCW. You never know if you're going to see the return of Angel of Darkness or well, he or whoever. Has, he has been in Pennsylvania a couple times already to wrestle. Only time will tell, I guess. There you is, never know. I know he had some issues with Fred Flash the last time he was here. He never got that chance to uh, take on Fred Flash. And look at this maneuver. Off, yep. off the knees with a front flip. Only, get, only getting the two count. Angel of Darkness getting that shoulder up just in time. Now, is this title on the line? Yes, the title is on the line. It was... It had to be done. It was scheduled for Pinky to do this, but since he didn't show up and I was the manager, it was either give the title up or defend it. Well, I felt defending it would probably be better, so that way I thought I could win this, and maybe I will, and Pinky can have it back. Well, you're trying to put Angel Darkness to sleep here. What's going through your mind right now? Well, I thought maybe if I put him to sleep, it'd be easier. See, right there, I got him. I got him down. And, um, you know, that takes a lot out of somebody. And sometimes they're not sleep all the way, but you can get the one, two, three because they're just not even worrying about the count. Because right now you're cutting off the oxygen supplies to the head. And a little bit of dazed and confused there. But I guess that second nature, that adrenaline just kicked in to help him fight back, to get back to his feet there. Far and away, giving you some gut shots to the midsection. Comes in, oh, he delivers the the, kit, the knee right into the kitchen sink there, as we like to call it. Well, that's it. Back on top I go. And, um, you know, this is the first time that uh, Angel of Darkness and myself had gone head-to-head. -head, and it, it, it really sparked something between the two of us to continue to go against each other over and over again. Well, Angel of Darkness draped over the ropes there. You're there going to town with the... Leg just choking away. The referee is initiating the, the five count, which you know you're a veteran of the ring, so you know you do have that advantage of breaking before you hit the five. So, you know, you can get to that. Oh. oh, and you just slipped off the apron there. A little bit too much showboating. That's what happens when you showboat. Every now and then it could backfire on you. Oh, kick me right in the face. Hard to the floor you go. We don't see you getting up. You're just laying there now. What is Angel Darkness getting set up to do? He's running, dive oh. and elbow off the apron, a la Mick Foley, Cactus Jack. You're still laying there, a little bit motionless, but you know, we see a little bit of momentum. Angel's gotta do is just toss him back in the ring. One, two, three, but no, we're going all the way. This was a martial arts gym that we were running the show in, and I guess like, well, we're giving an advertisement, a plug. Maybe we'll use some of the swords. Oh! You never know what kind of uh, throwback classics that you're gonna find on any of these RCW uh, DVDs. Yep, and, and the best thing is, these matches were never released. Yes, they were unreleased, uncut, uncensored. And uncooked. From what I heard. That's what I hear. Smiling Mel, the referee. He doesn't look like he's smiling too much. Not in this one. He was really nervous in this one. Must have been new to the business there, this young kid here. Breaking in as a referee. Of course, there's a lot of them breaking in. For all different sorts of uh, jobs around the professional wrestling industry. For ours, ring announcing, commentary, but, you name it. Yep, but it's not It's not for everybody. Everybody sees it on TV. They want to do it. Oh, look at this. High cross body, but he misses. Looks like you're going for Kicked. a double axe. Yeah, handle double there. axe handle. And then, oh, he just stunned him. Stunned him right on the side of your knee, looks on the side of his knee. And it's over. Picks up the three count. Does, he wins the championship. We've got a new U.S. champion, Angel of Darkness. And he's hugging Mel, knocks Mel down. Your new United States champion, the Angel of Darkness here. And it was regional championship wrestling. It was a long time till I talked to... Uh, the Flamingo Kid again after this. He was pretty upset about the loss of the U.S. title. If any of you fans want to know more of the history of the United States title, log on to Facebook. Simply type in the keywords, RCW Pro Wrestling. Yep, yeah, RCW. It's Facebook.com backslash RCW Pro Wrestling. And we'll be back with another match from the past. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another 
match never put on DVD from Regional Championship Wrestling. Straight out of Florida, this is Gio once again sitting here with the RCW owner, Ray Torres. And we are watching another match from Rumble Mania Extreme 2 in Ocoee, Florida. And in this match, we're looking at a three-way. Interesting about this is because in this three-way, whoever wins will be able to pick a partner of their choosing to become the Florida Tag Team Champions. Uh, most definitely. It's, it's one of those subjects that go around the wrestling world where, where people try to decide who they want as partners constantly time and time again. But when you're not teaming with someone as quite often, it becomes a really hard decision. Especially if you're fighting for a tag team title without a tag team titles without a partner here at ringside to give you support. That's right, and here we go with the first contestant in this three-way, Joe Pipitone from Italy. Joe Pipitone, as short as he is, he kind of reminds me of a Mario. Mario. But enough about that. We are getting set to see our next competitor to enter the ring. And here comes the bad boy. Bad boy, yeah, I kind of like this guy here. You know, he, he has an attitude and tall and lengthy. An attitude to show. Yes, and he had a nice ego, great ego. Love the kid. Of course, RCW doesn't do dumb egos, but I like that. And as you can see, the camera is very shaky, but you know, that's how production was back in the day with the VHS and the people shooting. The camera work. Bad boy. Now we do know that uh, each one of these guys has a partner somewhere in the back waiting to congratulate their guy for winning the Florida. Wait a minute, these Wait. guys are hugging. So if either one of them win, are they going to be partners? Maybe. They might pick each other. Never know. It'll be a surprise for everybody. That's, we're just going to have to wait and see. The funny thing is, you could have a tag team there, like you said, Mario and Luigi. And guess who's coming out? You. You. Me. That's right. It's Kid Extreme. Wait, what am I saying? for the fans and everyone else to hear but I believe what I'm telling them from this blast from the past type video footage is that he can pick any partner in the building but he don't want to deal with none of these J-Bruins around here and I think and I believe it like I said I always like the kid here and I told him hey if he wins I'll be more than glad to be his partner oh so you're gonna try to get whoever wins yeah but like I said before I like this kid he has a good ego on him and I, I think I, I think uh, me and him would do good together And here comes your cousin, Macho Morales from the Reekin' Havoc Tag Team. See, oh, and look at that. That's the guy that you wanted. <laughs> see, but then again, you never know who might show up. See, the guy didn't even know that Macho Morales was coming out either. So there you go. And now he's at, well, now he's getting double T, getting beat down as Joe Pipitone. See, oh. I, see, I was liking Joe Pip Pipitone first. At first he had my eye, but then all of a sudden Bad Boy came out. And then I was like, you know what, I like this guy instead a lot more. But then, little little be known, my actual cousin, Macho Morales, was here. So basically, you know me. I was out there trying to play these two goofballs for what it is. Get, get inside their head. That's the only way I know how to do. And, you know, just try to rattle them just a little bit. Just so my cousin, Macho, had has the advantage over both of them. Well, they obviously uh, knew that you were doing this. Well, well now your cousin's coming back. Oh, well, he was. But it looks like now, both Bad Boy and Joe Pipitone, doesn't matter who wins now, now they're after your cousin. The both of them, oh! 
Oh! Oh, that's nuts for, for Macho. He ain't having no more kids within the family. And there you go. Look at this. It's supposed to be a uh, three-way, and it's become two-on-one. Is basically what it's just becoming. It's becoming a menage a trois. Well... There you go, taking him out of the ring. You, it's, it's, it's a good it's, thing. It's what I have to do. You know, I have to, I have to school the kid. I said, look, you're young. You gotta listen to me. I'm the vet. You know, the, the family... Tra yeah, that's right. These guys need, need to fight. There you go. They need to go at it. Macho, you just stay out here. You relax. You know, just let them stay in there. Let them beat the hell out of each other. And you go in, you capitalize, you take advantage of these jackets. I can, I can guarantee that's what you're telling them. Yeah. But look at... Look, Already they stopped fighting each other and realized what you were doing, and now they're both just staring. They can stare all they want, you know. The fact of the matter is, you know, you know, Macho Morales, and and and, and you see what's on our shirts wreaking havoc because that's what you do. We wreak havoc everywhere. Uh oh, look at that! Oh, your cousin! Did, oh, these guys, you know, these guys would be a good tag team. Bad boy and uh, the Macho. Uh, they, they got they're about similar size. Yeah, similar size, similar look. The only problem with, uh, with Joe, he's like, he's really short, though. I'm glad all the fans oh. kind of got, got out the way there from in that area because they never know what's going to happen. As you see, the, the he's getting a breather, as you can tell, in front of the fans. Well, the people don't like this. They, Wait, there you go. His fans right there. He's yeah. standing in front of his fans. Like, there you go. a good joke. Ha, ha, ha. Fans, fans, fans. And uh, I see you uh, helping out. What are you doing over there talking to Joe Pipitone? I have a lot of wisdom to give. I, I, I got a lot of wisdom. Uh oh, to tell you. yo, what, what the hell? They, Look at this! Not the jumping you, Macho. Where you at? Get out there and help me. But like I said, this is in a classic RCW uh, exclusive video footage that you fans are getting to see finally. Uh, me, of course, I already know what happens, you know. But hey, you know what's better than than, than not hearing me speak on this for commentary? You know, people love my voice. I'm like I'm like an artist when I do this stuff, so. Oh. So, so no matter if I'm in the ring, out the ring, doing commentary, in the bathroom, whatever, I rock it. Well, you rock it, and I guess your cousin's rocking it too. As he's in the ring, he's the only one in the Well, until now, now he's out the ring, and he took a hard spill. The people even heard him hit that mat. That's right. People know how you better we turn around. Everybody knows how we will. We rock it here. We rock it there. We rock it everywhere. Just ask all the soccer moms. Oh yeah. Well. We can ask them later because they're both on the ground now as Bad Boy jumps off the top rope and he knocks down both Pipitone and Macho Morales. Yeah, I'm giving the referee there a piece of my mind telling him this is unorthodox. He needs to restore some order here. Smiling and, Mel. And get these guys back in the ring. Well, Smiling, Smiling Mel ain't doing his job. He needs to step up. Well, then I don't know what is going on here. Is that a count? He's trying to do a submission on the outside of the ring. Well, that's not going to count. Oh, well, if it wasn't for low blows, there'll be no blows at all, obviously, in this one. Macho's pretty good at those low blows. Wait, but that's another story within the family. Uh-huh. There goes another suplex. Oh, I say another. I guess it's the, these are the first moves we're seeing in this one. First, and, first actual moves. Whoa, a spinning elbow smash. Bad boy out of nowhere, just jumping over the top rope. And, and a drop he, kick onto the side of the head of Macho Morales. Looked like he got him in the ear. That could even be worse. You know, I, I was trying to find a partner to come down to, 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 to take control of this match here. And, you know, I had to call up my Uncle Pedro. I said, yeah, get, her, uh, get my cousin, you know, Macho down here. Well, so... And then he got there, and now he's in a fight for his life because he's down on the ground. Yeah, it's it, it's a good thing Uncle Pedro called Macho Morales to come down here to help me out here, and I I, I wouldn't have picked anybody else otherwise. Well, Bad Boy is, is doing a number on your cousin. Oh, Pipiton just knocks him over. It's hard to tell who's gonna win this because they both both of these guys, Bad Boy and Pipiton, obviously see, see, are gutter going well, after your see, cousin. The problem is that I have to vent. That I have to the the, the the complain about is that these guys are supposed to be every man for that's what I'm talking about. There you go. Every man's supposed to be all for himself. Not both of them double teaming on on on, on Macho. I mean, this is uncalled for. Well, maybe Macho owes them some money and they just wanted to get. It. Oh, what is this? If anything, oh. they owe us money. 
Macho needs to stop this or it's going to be it, over. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it over. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. See, it, it, it runs in the blood. He, he, he has that ring awareness. He knows where he's at. He knows what he's doing. I'm like, he may not be all there right now in the head because from, from all the bashing he's been getting. But, you know, but the adrenaline kicks in. He knows what he's doing. What the? Bad boy's trying to pin the ref. And I just see you smashing bad boy. I did no such thing as... I'm trying to wake the ref up. The ref was dazed and confused right there. And look at this. What is going on here? What is happening? What was Pip Patone doing? I don't know, but Morales hit him with an enziguri to the back of the head. He deserved it. Pip Patone was holding him up like it was nothing. But now he's not turning around. Blank super kick by Bad Boy. And Bad Boy should have went for a cover immediately. It may have cost him. Pipitone just calls Bad Boy the match right there, I believe. You might have you, you might have seen Bad Boy with a champion, uh, with, with a partner of his choosing. Pipitone sent him out. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, gut right, buster! Right across the knee. Now it has Morales picks him up. Oh my goodness! Oh, face plants him. He said, hold up. What? What's he doing? Did He's he... stupid. He could have went for the three. And, oh, Chio puts his uh, kid extreme or whatever he was called back then. You sure really uh, decided to take matters in the own hand right there. This this idiot should have took advantage. Now, what? Didn't. Oh, is this anything goes? Because Bones just got involved. The pirate, Bones. You got to remember, we are all about the money. Where, wherever the money And there is. it is. Three. Macho Morales wins the title for you, I guess. I guess. Guess you. who he picks? Guess who he picks? Can you, can you guess? Can you guess? Can you take yeah, I'm guess? pretty sure it's you. His, his favorite cousin. The, in the cousin whole Frost. Wide world. Cousins Frost. And they're the Florida Tag Team Champions. And yes, he does pick you, the wreaking havoc, winning the Florida Tag Team Champions. We're gonna have oh, one more, oh, yeah. one more match for party. a classic. We'll the see you in a bit. Okay, folks, this is amazing. This is gonna be an amazing last match that's never been on DVD, and you're not gonna believe who it is. Of course, you know I'm Ray Torres, formerly known as the Bodacious Pretty Boy, and if you don't know, that's me back in the day, 1997. And get this, Wait till you see who his opponent is going to be. Kid Extreme. Kid Extreme. And of oh, my God. Kid Extreme? For real? Oh, where's the fan club at? Yep, Kid Extreme. And he happens to be sitting right next to me. He's now known as Chio. Lane Gemin, this is an RCW exclusive. This has never been on DVD. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Here... And where were we at this time? Was this a uh, Tamaqua, PA, I believe, or something Tamaqua, like that? No, maybe no. Lebanon? No, it, it was somewhere up north in Pennsylvania, as far as I know. 1997, 98, so it's far along. Yeah. Action packed crowd, about almost a thousand people there in attendance. And some of them you can't see off screen. But yeah. I'm going to tell you straight up, this is going to be the match that a lot of people were looking forward to. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that these two members were the members. Were, I'm talking as if they're other people. Let's do that. Okay. These two were members of the alliance. Of course, well, they should pretty boy the leader. Chio, which was back then, was Kid Extreme, was the first member, I believe, of the alliance. He broke away, and this is the match between the two. It's just funny how just so happens the two men in the ring, we just happen to be the two men calling it ourselves. That's it. That's it. Like, like back then, I don't, you know, going through this time and period in my life, uh, it was career changing for everybody. The business was picking up. There's a lot of new talent coming around, and uh, and especially where where we were at here at this time, we needed to step up our game, and that's what we did here in this match. As you can see, myself, known as Kid Extreme at the time, and you, Ray Torres, as the Bodacious Pretty Boy. We got it. We, we literally got our fight on. That's right. And I tell you what, I remember when it was a show we did in Maryland where they had a mark paper and we were named the number one match of the night. 
And I'm out of fact, I think I still have that in my archives. We were the number one match of the night that night in Maryland. And that actually sabotaged us from that point on in Maryland. All right, well, I just slingshot you back in the ring. I had you in the corner. Snap, mirror. Well, I think I'm going to do like you said you're going to do. Call, just call, call it like it was not us. As it was not us yes. sitting here. All right. There you go. I'm Kid uh, Extreme. wrenching away on the neck there. Kid Extreme is wrenching away. Now, the thing is, is these two know each other very well. So countering after countering is something that they know what to do. Since they were uh, teenagers and now currently they're in their 40s. Old men. Old men in bed. Big boot right to the chest. Hits the ropes. He's set up, come flying. And Close look at line. this. Both of them go over the top. And the crowd is really into this crowd match. Going crazy there. Now I'll the tell you, there was a lot of time. I mean, let's just face it. Pretty Boy and Kid Extreme wrestling many times. Baseball slide right through the ropes. And I setting he, up. What's he going to do now? He, he's hitting a oh acai, an acai moonsault. Named after... Um, uh, I can't tell you. I don't know. <laughs> Not sure. Ultimo Dragon. There you go. That's what, that's what I wanted to say. I, I can't believe I didn't yeah. know that. I cannot believe I did not know that. He's one of my favorite Japanese. It was right there on the tongue. It was on the tip of my tongue, and I just couldn't get his name out. I, I'm yeah. a great fan of Jushin Liger and Ultimo Dragon. Now, as you can see, Pretty Boy is being distracted by, uh, I believe that was the... Perfect creation. Perfect creation. Oh! Oh! And there's no mats out there on the floor, ladies and gentlemen. So bouncing his head off to the off to the turnbuckle there and just sending them to the floor. That was just, what's this? A I, pile driver on the out. Oh no! And the crowd is going crazy. They love the action. They love the hard hitting. They love the high flying. And we were giving it to them that night. That's right. And like like you said earlier, there are no pretty little blue mats on the outside. This is the independence. There you go, you finally managed to get back up. For some reason, you decided to go up to the top rope, coming off, double axe handle, I caught you. And, oh, man. Into a Northern Light suplex with the bridge. Well, obviously, the power driver wasn't done effectively enough because he's back up right away, and now, as you can see, a clothesline. But you can see Pretty Boy is, again, distracted. He should be worried about the guy that's in the ring with him, Kid Extreme. See, that's, that's the problem. When you get distracted like that, you know, it costs you. You know, and then Kid Extreme getting up. Pretty Boy steps down. He's still mouthing off the perfect creation. Oh, whoa, look at this. Su sunset One, flip out of nowhere. Two, and that's it. And picks up the W for that night. Kid Extreme comes out victorious on the bodacious Pretty Boy. Who looks shocked. He can't believe it. And it's all because he was distracted by the perfect creation who's still out there. And now look at this. Just like a sore loser. Setting him up. And there's the facelift. That's right. That was the version of uh, Triple H's uh, pedigree. But it was known as the facelift when, when, uh, when I was doing it back then. Seems like a perfect creation cost. But he's just pretty boy to match. Victorious for this uh, RCW exclusive. Myself, Kid Extreme, but uh, log on to Facebook. Uh, backslash RCW Pro Wrestling.